Hello viewers and welcome to my new video. I wonder if you knew this, but there are many many songs out there by both solo artists and bands that you may think, oh wow, you know, like this person wrote this song or this band wrote this song and it's it's amazing, it's incredible, you know, like I oh they like really believe in what they're singing and all these kinds of things. But did you actually realize that whilst, yes, it is true that some of these bands and some of these artists write their own material, there's actually a plethora of artists where actually somebody else writes their songs. So it's either a single songwriter or even a team of songwriters. So often it happens that record companies actually employ these teams of songwriters to, to write songs for other people, for, for, for other artists, performers and so on and so forth. What's really staggering is that some of these songwriters or teams of songwriters that effectively write songs for like many different genres and many different artists you would even you wouldn't even believe that they were written by the same person or the same group of people now i'm not sure what your view on this is you know and how how you actually perceive it and that's perhaps something that you could uh, tell me in the comments but I just, i'm just going to give you a, a couple of examples of this you know and one of these examples is a production team called The Matrix, okay? And this Matrix is effectively a, an American-British songwriting and record production team consisting of Lauren Christie, Scott Spock and Graham Edwards, okay? So they sort of like, I think uh, Lauren Christie was kind of like an artist herself initially and then anyway she, she, she sort of started writing songs for other people and she got together with these, with these, two, these, these two other guys and they formed this, this production team but effectively what it means is that they, write, they would write and produce songs for other artists, okay? Now, this list here is pretty incredible. They have produced Songs by, let's listen to this, Jackson Mendoza, Ronan Keating, Christina Aguilera, Melissa Lefton, Myra, Hefe Nova, Avril Lavin, Jason Mraz, Nick Carter, Darius, Lilix, Lise Fair, Vetrois, Emil, Hilary Duff, Die Happy, Nick La Lachey, Britney Spears, Busted, Ben Jelen, Angel, The Mooney Suzuki, Sarah Paxton, Josh Kelly, Ricky Martin, Shakira. And then we've got In Excess, Korn, Mocha Only, Ashley Parker Angel. Ashley Teasdale, John McLaughlin, Sky Sweetnam, The Cheetah Girls, Ferras, Danger Radio, McFly, Click Girls, Miranda Cosgrove, Tokyo Hotel, Sterling Knight, Grayson Chance, The New Cities, Vicky Martinez, Jamie Lee, and Michael Franti and the, sorry, Michael Franti and Spearhead. So this is how many artists, different artists, this team of three people have produced, effectively have written songs for and, and produced their records. It's, it's really, really incredible when you think about that, especially when you think that this is like both Britney Spears and Korn, for example, on the same list. Is, is really, really surprising. Another quite a big songwriter slash producer, I'm sure a lot of you will be familiar with, is Nile Rogers. And Nile Rogers, again, he wrote and produced all these songs. So we've got Norma Jean Wright, Sister Sledge, Sheila B. Devotion, Diana Ross, Johnny Mathis, Debbie Harry, David Bowie, 
Spoons, again in excess. Madonna, Duran Duran, Peter Gabriel, Jeff Beck, Mick Jagger, Thompson Twins, Sheena Easton, Laurie Anderson, Grace Jones, The B-52s, Vaughn Brothers, David Lee Roth, Michael Bolton, Pitbull, Adam Lambert featuring Sam Sparrow, Pharrell Williams, Daft Punk, Nervo featuring Kylie Minogue, Keith Urban, Christina Aguilera, George Michael even, Max Petzali, Oliver Heldens featuring Devin, Daddy Yankee featuring Ro Alejandro, Le Seraphim. So this list is again huge, you know, and there's other examples like this, you know, and sometimes I wonder, you know, because you listen to something, you may be listening to something on the radio or you listen to one of your favorite artists and it's like, oh yeah, you know, they did this great, amazing music. But actually, you know, what happened was actually there was a, a, another person or another team of people who did that for them. I'm not saying this is the case in in every situation because it certainly isn't, but it just makes you think. Uh, that what you hear and who performs the song isn't always the same person who wrote the song. As, and similarly, there's a lot of people who write just the lyrics. So, for example, the band might write the music and everything, but somebody else writes the lyrics for them, and then they just put, and the singer, for example, of the band performs those sings those lyrics effectively. So, please let me know in the comments what you think about that. Uh, and what your observations are, and whether you knew this or not. Uh, so thanks very much for watching my video today, and I'll see you in my next video.